what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below let's get right into this spirit ancestors and guides what is going on within this connection at this time spirit ancestors and guides let's see what's going on Reaping what they've sown, twin flame contract. Okay, so there is this energy where somebody really had to choose between you and their freedom, you and their party life, you and um, life in the fast lane. It says they must choose between you and their fast life. You know, it's almost like an energy of somebody that needs to slow the fuck down and chill out like it's time to grow up and settle down and chill the fuck out and stop doing whatever this is that they're doing okay um but it's almost like they refuse to settle down they, they refuse to grow up they refuse to period let's just say that okay so now they're reaping what they've sown okay bound by the chains of their own karma there's definitely an energy where it's like they kept on playing games. They kept on playing games. They kept on making promises that they wasn't keeping. They kept on being hot and cold, in and out, leaving you in confusion. Nobody. It ain't going to work like that, right? So there's been some kind of separation, okay? And now they're having to deal with what they've chosen to do. You wanted to live the fast life. You wanted to party. You don't want to settle down and chill out and grow the fuck up. Well, that's fine. I'm going to separate myself from this situation then. Because you're not what I'm looking for. And now this person is going through it. They're grieving. You might hear my kids screaming in the background, y'all. My, my 16-year-old is on 2K. And my 11-year-old, I don't know what the hell he's on back there. But I just heard him say something. Um, so, yeah. Uh, reaping what they sown. Now they're going through that karma because okay this is what you wanted it's almost like this person thought they that you would never leave them or never stop fucking with them because there's this energy where it's like um they would go out and do what they do and then come back like nothing ever happened bro and so it's like this person would pretend like they don't want a relationship but it's an energy and i'm being serious y'all that it's like but if you was to go out and fuck off with the other people, or if you was to stay gone partying and not to hit them up for days, oh, it'd be a motherfucking problem. Oh, yeah, it'd be a real motherfucking problem. They'd be in their feelings bad. They'd be wondering where the fuck you're at and what the fuck you're doing, ready to beat everybody ass. And I'm just being real. But it's almost this energy like, but when they do it, oh, it's all good. There's nothing that should be said. Okay, buddy. Well, let's, um, let's flip the, the roles. I wish I could act like a boy. Can't be getting mad. Can't what you mad can't handle that. Okay, so there's this energy of you know like shit. Sometimes I wish I could act like a boy. Can't be getting mad. What you mad can't handle that. I don't know why I just heard that shit. But it's like okay, if the, you know if the roles were reversed here, how would they be acting? All right. Spirit is definitely saying, like, there's this energy of somebody realizing, and this is for a twin flame reading, okay, guys? This isn't for, like, a karmic soulmate or somebody that you were dealing with. This is for people who have literally met their soul, their divine counterpart, okay? And realize that people can be stuck in karmic energy, but through your growth, they grow, okay? It's very hard. It's difficult. Understandable. Um, twin flame contract. Remember, focus on the lesson. Patience is key to fulfilling it. So there's definitely an energy where it's like, I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they're going through it. And there's an energy where it's like you love this person so much and so unconditionally that it's like you want to save them. You want to be there for them. You want to get them through this dark time that they're going through. But it's like, I, you know, I speak on this a lot, spirit. You can't enable this behavior. And so this is where spirit is saying, yes, this is your twin flame. Yes, I know you want to come through and save them and be there for them. Because the first person they're going to reach out to when they're going through it is you. 
the spirit is saying they really want you to focus on the lesson here and that patience even though you want this person and you want it to come together and you want it to be you and your counterpart happily ever after there's this energy where it's like you have to have patience here if you want to fulfill this twin flame contract between the two of you. Because this is definitely a twin flame energy, definitely the twin flame counterpart. And there's definitely an urgency for it to come together. But it's like they're still living in the fast lane and they're really reaping what they sow. And they're bound by the chains of their karma. And so there's some protection here, some divine protection for you. To not be in that energy with them. Let them deal with that karma. Let them go through that shit. As much as you want to run in there and play Captain Save a Dick, okay? We ain't finna do that. We have to have patience. We have to let them learn the lessons. Focus on the lessons. Patience is the key to fulfilling it. They have to learn their lessons here. You can't run in and save them right now. And this is what Spirit is telling you. Whether they're going through a hard time right now or they're about to be going through a really difficult fucking time, it's their karma. And it's only them to pay. It's not your karma to pay. It's not your shit to go through. Spirit wants you to stand back and be patient. Love them from afar. Because this is how these lessons are going to be learned and you guys can fulfill this beautiful contract that the two of you guys have. Yeah, inner reservoir of power. You will get through this journey you never thought you would. So there's this energy, and, and that's where it comes in, where it's like, okay, y'all want this to come together. Um, damn, I'm just going to leave this person alone. I don't know if I can even handle this twin flame journey. I'm tired of this shit. But Spirit is saying you have to tap into that inner reservoir of power that is within you. Look at how beautiful that card is, okay? You have to tap in because you will make it through this journey that you never thought the fuck that you would. But it's like it's almost like patience is the key here. And y'all know if you're my regulars that I speak on not waiting all the time. But in this case, it's not about waiting. It's about patience here. This is that energy of somebody because... When I say don't wait, I'm not talking about going and jumping in a million people's beds and shit like that. I'm talking about putting your life on hold and waiting for it to come around. No, go out. Fix yourself up. Have fun. Live your fucking life. Learn your needs, your wants, what you deserve, what makes you happy. When you're focusing on self and, and not waiting, and I'm not talking about going out fucking with other people. I'm talking about not waiting by living your life and making yourself happy. That's how you are fulfilling your person to do the same thing. And so this is an energy of you tapping in to your inner reservoir of power. You looking deep within yourself and realizing through this patience, through continuing to do what it takes and, and focus on the lessons in this journey, that is what's going to bring us together. We will make it through this journey that I never thought I'd make it through. I know it's hard. I know at times it gets hard. I know there's times when you want to give up and you say, say, fuck this shit. I get that. I'm, I'm shit. Five years twin flame journey, baby. Okay, but we're together because the work, the shadow work, it's hard. Okay, y'all got this though. You, there's times when you really feel at your lowest and you have to tap in. You have to tap in to that beautiful, that beautiful energy that's within you. Okay. Let's see, spirit. Yeah, because right now they're going through karma. And they deserve every bit of this karma that they're about to receive. Yeah, speaking of Twin Flame, that's crazy. He pulls up in the yard. <laughs> he went to get his hair cut. Let's see. Spirit, ancestors, and guides. Presence of absence. Hold what is absent in the present of your love. So that's once again, you know, there is some kind of absence between the two of you guys, but there's a presence in that absence where it's like, regardless if there's time, space, energy between the two of you guys, you guys are 100% present in each other's energies at all time. And so there's this energy of hold what is absent in the presence of your love. So still continue to hold what is absent with them not being here. In the presence of your love. So even though you're not here, you can continue to shower that love and that energy on them, right? So that they can continue to try to level up and you guys can finally align here, all right? There's still a lot of love, a lot of energetic um, back and forth between the two of you, even though... 
this is a difficult situation. Misalignment. Wow, and I was just saying so the two of you guys can finally come into alignment. Miracles become normal once we face all of the aspects of our life in the same direction. So it's almost like these miracles will come together and it's almost like you once you guys come together and do this work the universe will continuously shower you guys with blessing after blessing after blessing and you'll start looking around like damn this spirituality it gotta be real what i be doing it gotta be real like I, I don't care what nobody you know you know what i'm saying yes i believe but there's times i'm still human but there's times when i'm like woo child like my god my guides my spirit guides this alignment woo when I'm stressing and the universe comes right in, period, bitch, we ain't finna be stressing over here. We blessed. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, seriously. The two of you guys got to get on the same page, though, and in the right direction. And so that's where this karma that they're dealing with comes in, where you really have to take a step back and be like, look, <laughs> I'm going to let you deal with that karma. <laughs> you can't get none of my energy and focus on your own energy. And watch, watch how this changes for the two of you guys. Watch how this blossoms. It is necessary to ask for and accept help in order to receive it. So this could be an energy of you kind of maybe when you are going through some shit and stressing. Yeah, you're scared to ask for help or you're scared to let anybody know what you're going through. You can be one of those people that bottle their feelings up, don't really like to lay your problems. Like, you're not one of them that go around and tell everybody your business and your feelings and what you're going through. You would rather just go through it alone and motherfucking me get through it. But there's an energy here where spirit does not want you to go through that stressing and eating yourself up and all this. They don't want you to go through whatever this is alone. They definitely want you to reach out to people that you're comfortable with, that you know is loyal to you. Um, and let these people listen to what you're going through and talk about what you're going through, okay? Uh, because look, with the Lantern card coming out, consciousness is light. This is a beautiful card. And it's like, when you keep it in your subconscious and you hold it in, all of that will explode in ways that you don't want it to. So it's like, spirit really wants you to be conscious about what's going on. Um, speak because voice was at the bottom. You know, really speak on what's going on in your life right now. I feel like this will really light the fire up under you. Like, it's okay to talk about what you're going through. It's okay to let people know, you know, when you're... It's almost like a hard exterior. Like, you don't want to look weak. But it's okay to be vulnerable, okay? It's okay to be vulnerable and let people know... Um, that you need them at times okay we're humans we're meant to be loved we're meant to be loved love is not a bad thing and i hate that this new generation makes it seem like love is a bad thing no y'all motherfuckers make love a bad thing go sit y'all young asses down in time out okay <laughs> let's see spirit ancestors and guys what else do you got for my collective spirit Woo. Wow. So there's definitely an energy and this is where it goes. Okay. So whatever they're reaping is a karmic relationship. Their karma is this karmic relationship. And so this is where you could be feeling like it ain't worth it no more. It's time to move on. They have this other fucking person. And this is where spirit wants you to be like, nah, whoever this other person is, they enable this person. They let them ghost them for days and then come back around. They're okay with being, you know, hidden. It says resentment and tr tr triggers intensity and letting go, turmoil and fleeting. This person is definitely going through it. They left this situation behind for a karmic. And it's like you had to stand on this. And at times you keep this in and how you're feeling. I feel like there's an energy of you pretending you're cool, you're okay, it doesn't bother you. But deep down it really does. It hurts. And it's like, okay, I'm, I mean, fuck this twin flame. I'm ready to move forward. But that's where spirit really wants you to tap into this inner reservoir of power. This, um, this beautiful empress energy and not let this get to you. Because that's not going to last. That's not meant to last. It was never meant to last. They're literally karma their karma is this karmic relationship and i feel like whoever this karmic is they're about to take this person down through there 
going on with that karmic relationship right there, Spirit? What's going on with that karmic relationship right there, Spirit? Very moody. Not in the mood. Testy. So somebody's moody as fuck. Why? Because they know that they're supposed to be over here with you. Te gloomy. Not in the mood. Testy. With this not in the mood, I can see somebody that's like trying to have sex, trying to get it on. The other person, I feel like whoever you're dealing with is basically pushing this karmic off. Like, no, I'm not in the motherfucking mood. Just get away from me. And it's making this karmic very testy, pissed off in their motherfucking feelings here. Wow, so whoever you're dealing with, it's like that's even more karma. They can't even bang the karmic over there. And that's another thing, like this karmic's like, you can't fuck me, who else are you fucking? And it's like this dude can't even, he ain't even fucking. He just ain't in the mood. He's just, mm, mm. Yeah, why? Because he's over here in regret. Regretting his motherfucking um, actions. Shame, disgrace, disappointed. Pissed off at himself. Knowing that he's about to go through it. This person is definitely ashamed of themselves. They know they've disgraced you in this relationship. And so here this karmic is trying to play with their little uh, joystick. And it's over here flopped down on the side. Can't even move no damn way. Okay. It was out of 12 with you. Now it's out of 6. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, inadequate, unqualified. Yeah, they regret it. Because whoever they're dealing with this karmic, they're incompetent. Look, inadequate, unqualified, lacking. They ain't like you. This karmic energy is not qualified for an energy like your person's. They cannot hold a candle to you, okay? This person could be kind of dumb, slow, easy to manipulate, and they just lacking in all areas. There's no chemistry. There's no oomph. But for some reason, whoever you're dealing with feels trapped, drowning, gasping for air, trying to figure out a way away from this person. But look, there's some kind of addiction in, in the way. Mm. Mm -mm. Spirit is saying that they, they let them go through this karma. Let them go through it. It's not your time to save them. It's time for you to save yourself. Okay? All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.